This was a dark, dark time as a Knicks fan. The year was 2019. It was supposedly the tank for Zion year, and they were going to get Katie and Kyrie, and none of that happened. They ended up with RJ Barrett, Bobby Portis, Julius Randle, and Marcus Morris. Now, the Knicks are in a much better place today, but yeah, we're going to be taking a look at this team before that all went down. God damn, this team sucked. This was Kevin Knox's rookie year and Frank Nielakina's second year. I mean, these guys were dealt a bad hand, just a revolving door with coaches with Jeff Hornacek, terrible GM and Phil Jackson, David Fisdale at the helm. There's a time where Mike Miller was the coach. Thankfully, Tibbs has turned this team around also, but yeah, Chris Stops was out the whole year year then he got traded at the deadline but we're gonna say you know what if the Knicks kept Chris Stops and he didn't request a trade we have Ennis Canner we have Tim Hardaway Jr. like I said Neil Keenan Knox are rookie and sophomore year I would like to develop them Mario Hazonia, Courtney Lee, Trey Burke, Noah Vonley, Damian Dotson who I still liked a lot you have Mitchell Robinson, Alonzo Trier, Emmanuel Moutier, Lance Thomas god damn this team was garbage but yeah we're gonna see maybe in this sim we can end up getting Zion Williamson we're definitely gonna have Frank Neil Kina and Tim Hardaway Jr. starting we're gonna see if Kevin Knox can work out. Unfortunately, Kristaps Porzingis will be out for the year, but he should be playing for us next year. Ron Baker. Yeah, Phil Jackson gave him like $10 million guaranteed. We got a young Mitchell Robinson. We are going to be a seller at the deadline as well. So there's a good chance I move Tim Hardaway Jr., if not now in the offseason, or Ennis Canner, and if I can move his own, you know, or Courtney Lee or Trey Burke. First game of the season's on the road against Memphis, who were also bad at this time. They got lucky in the lottery, though, because what was crazy is that their pick, I think, was top seven or eight protected and they got lucky and it was supposed to go to Boston. Then they jumped up to two and they took John Morant and they hit back-to-back -back picks with Jaron Jackson Jr. in 2018 and John 2019. And his canner, I think we'll definitely have some good value at the deadline if we could find a team that will take on his contract. We do beat the Pistons in the second game of the season. They were actually all right this year. They had Blake Griffin, ended up drafting Sekou Dumboya. The Magic were also a playoff team as well. Oh, I lied. No, they got Chumo Kiki, I believe, at the end of the lottery. No, wait. No, they played the Raptors in round one. They were a playoff team. Are we going to start off the season three and one? Well, look at that. Maybe we're not going to be as bad as I thought we were. And his canner, yeah, he's definitely going to get traded because he should have some good value. All right, so we're about 31 games through the season. Well, exactly 31 games. And we are 11 and 20. The year actually prior to this in 2018, the Knicks were pretty solid because Kristaps was an all-star. Him and Ennis Kanner, um at the time were really good in the front court together. And then Kristaps got hurt, unfortunately. You have the Sacramento Kings as the one seed. Okay. I forgot who they ended up getting in the top 10 in the 2019 draft. Who was it? Oh, wait. I don't think they owned the pick. I think they ended up at 14, and then the Celtics got it, drafted Romeo Langford. So this is pretty much where we are scoring-wise. Is Kevin Knox going to be anything? You know what? Not terrible numbers for Knox. I remember he had like one 30-point game, and I was so excited for him. Is Neil Aquina going to be anything? He's averaging 8-3. and three. The efficiency is really bad. All right, Kristaps Porzingis is back. I mean, we're 13 and 30. I guess he's going to help us win games. But yeah, we're going to have a lot of cap space. We have some young talent in Knox and Neil Aquina if they work out and we're still building around Kristaps. But I'm going to be a flat out seller. Anybody I can move to help further the tank at the deadline, we're doing it. So we're here at the 2019 All-Star Draft. Giannis and LeBron are captains. We're not going to have any Knicks in this All-Star game. Kevin Walker, who ended up being a Nick for a very short stint, just did not work out whatsoever is a starter you got Kawhi, james harden and at this moment he's still a clipper or excuse me a sixer i woke up today and i really thought like him saying daryl Morey's a liar was like an ai generated like butt crack sports tweet but no it was real and i don't know when the sixers are going to trade him you would have to think soon so chris up should be restricted at the end of the year free agent all right so we're gonna send ennis canner to the la lakers for josh hart who's on his rookie contract ended up being a nick and we're gonna get their 2020 first which would be equivalent to 2021 top three protected i think that's a good return for ennis canner i actually don't mind keeping tim hardaway jr around because i would like to be somewhat competitive next year so we're going to trade mario hizonia and courtney lee to the phoenix suns for tyson chandler and jamal crawford both former new york knicks but we get off of courtney lee's 12 and a half million dollars next year all right and then we're going to turn around and flip jamal crawford i'm sorry but we're going to move him and emmanuel moody to detroit for stanley johnson who was drafted in the 2015 draft take a flyer on him and ish Schmidt. So that's pretty much going to be it for the rest of the season. Um, this team is probably going to lose a lot more games, which is fine with me. There's a chance I do move Tim Hardaway Jr. in the offseason, but let's hope that we can 
maybe end up with John Morant or Zion Williamson. All right, so we ended up going 30 and 52. James Harden wins the 2019 MVP award. Luka Doncic, rookie of the year. Bam, six man. Kawhi Depoy in Toronto. Torian Prince, most improved in Atlanta. Forgot he was there. And Nick Nurse, coach of the year with the Raptors. James Harden, ooh, spinal injury. He's out for the year and still won MVP. That doesn't really happen in 2K too often. Luka as a rookie, all NBA second team. That's kind of crazy. Oh, Kawhi is out for the playoffs. All rookie first team, no Kevin Knox. He does get on all rookie second team. He wasn't, ah, he wasn't great. Yeah, no, he wasn't very good. So guys that I think will be back next season, KP is the starting power forward. Maybe I move him to the five, we'll see. Tim Hardaway Jr. I think could start at the shooting guard spot. He did stay healthy and played in all 82 games. Stanley Johnson, I may look to re-sign him if he's an unrestricted free agent. Kevin Knox, probably gonna come off the bench next year unless we don't upgrade like the small forward spot. But if I do bring back Stanley Johnson, he could be the three, KP could be the four. Trey Burke, Neil Akina. I mean, Neil Akina maybe is the backup point guard next year, but Burke and Ish Smith and probably Noah Vonley are gone. Same with Chandler and Baker. But Mitchell Robinson, Josh Hart, Damian Dotson will be back. Everybody else will probably be gone. Maybe they'll keep Alonzo Trey around. Ben Simmons is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP and Russ in the West. Two great three-point shooters. And then the Thunder win it all with Paul George and Russell Westbrook. Wow, that team won it. Wait, that means Melo got a ring. Let's go. Dwayne Wade retires and heads to the Hall of Fame. And let's see where our first round pick ends up. It's projected at six, so there's a chance we end up with like pick eight. All right, yeah, we fell to eight, which just sucks. Uh, 30 wins for the eight seed. So yeah, the Bulls looks like when the Zion sweepstakes, maybe Jaws going to be an Orlando Magic. Is RJ going to be a Hawk? All right, so we can get a new head coach, Ime Udoka. That would be a nice pickup. He was the Sixers assistant at the time. Steve Nash, Monty Williams, Darvin Ham. Eh. Yeah, so we're going to pick up Ime Udoka as our head coach and Steve Nash as our top assistant. And we're going to pick up Will Hardy as our shot doctor. Really good coaching staff going into next year. All right, so it is time for the 2019 NBA draft. Mock drafts have us taking DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, and Cam Reddish. It's actually a mix-up between John Zion as the number one overall pick. Looks like Garland might go three. And I don't think I'm going to make any trades on draft night. Let's make our selection at eight. Zion goes number one to Chicago. No shocker there. Same with John number two to Orlando. Tower Hero goes three to Atlanta. DeAndre Hunter, four to the Pelicans. Paul Bolt to the Grizzlies. Charlotte, please don't take Garland. And they take Matisse Thibel, what? All right, Suns take RJ, don't take Garland. Oh, you mother... My God, damn it. All right, well, I'm not going to take RJ Barrett because I want to do something different. Everybody I wanted to take is now off the board. All right, so I may do something a little bit interesting here. I may trade for Yusuf Nurkic. He's on a really good contract. We're going to definitely cut down those threes next year. Averaged four assists. Could be a nice player next to KP. I'm going to give up pick eight and pick 36. They say no. They want two seconds. And he'll give me Gary Trent Jr. All right, we'll do that. Portland takes Brandon Clark. You could have taken RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett ended up going number 10 to the Detroit Pistons. Uh, Noah Vonley will give the qualifying offer too, sure. All right, so free agency time. Do I want to offer KD and Kyrie a contract? I mean, we theoretically could. All right, I mean, I'll offer Kevin Durant a contract. I don't think he will accept it. And I'll offer Kyrie one as well. Oh, wait, Chris Ups is unrestricted. That's so annoying. And he may leave us for the Clippers. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, he leaves us for the Clippers. Well, that is just the worst sight to see. Oh my goodness, KP still leaves us. When I wanted to build them around him, you gotta be kidding me. So our only hope is KD goes to the Pacers and Kyrie to the Pelicans. What? Is that like they can't afford them and it's like the moratorium rights? I'm not going with Julius Randle here. I may just wait till after moratorium to spend all this money uh, just to see if KP pull like shows up again. Nope. We ended up losing Kristaps Porzingis Zing like the Knicks did in real life. I'm not going with Randle. All right. So I guess we're tanking for Anthony Edwards or LaMelo Ball. I'm going to give Terry Rozier a deal and see if he would sign with us play a lot, maybe break out as a point guard, kind of like he did for Charlotte. Nope, he goes back to Boston. All right, well, now I wish I didn't trade for Yusuf Nurkic. Screw it. We're just going to embrace the tank again next year. Well, I really thought I was going to compete. Marcus Morris, you can get a two-year deal. Remember he almost signed with the Spurs? Yeah, and then he like pulled out at the last second. Stanley Johnson wants $29 million. You're out of your goddamn mind. I'll give Damari Carroll a one-year deal. Maybe we could flip him at the deadline. I'm not bringing an Alfred paid an F dad. I really don't want to bring back Trey Burke. So we'll bring Lynn Sanity maybe back to New York. Yeah, we'll give Jeremy Lynn a two-year deal, team option. Maybe we flip him at the deadline as well. And let's sign Alec Burks to a two-year deal with a team option. Maybe we can also flip him at the deadline. So we get most of these guys. Let's go. That was just an abysmal off season. All right. This is our team next year. Yeah. I don't really care if everybody gets hurt. <laughs> I did not think I was going to be tanking another year, but here I am. This roster makes me want to throw up in my mouth. I can't wait till the season ends. I'll see you guys most likely at the deadline when I'm going to be a straight seller again. 
So yeah, we may have five wins at that time. So Kevin Knox has now torn his right Achilles. This team is 16 and 29 for tanking for Lamelo or Anthony Edwards. So here in the 2020 All-Star Draft, you have Giannis and Russell Westbrook as the captains. I hate that. Okay, Chris Stops is averaging 50% from the field, 40 from three and 80 from the line. With the Clippers, Blake Griffin's a starter. You got Devin Booker there. I can't believe he left this, man. <laughs> That sucks. All right, so it is the trade deadline. We are 19 games under 500. Time to have a fire sale. Our leading scorer this year is Tim Hardaway Jr., Frank Nilakina, and Kevin Knox. That were two youngins are pretty much out for the year. He ruptured his left Achilles and Knox just tore his right Achilles. Uh, at least Josh Hart has been much better this season in his... I guess this would be his third year in the NBA. Uh, we got Marcus Morris, who I think would have some value. I mean, Nurkic would definitely have some value as well. And I did get a first round pick as well. He's pissed. I mean, yeah, I joked about signing Kyrie and KD and I ended up losing Chris Stops. All right, so I'm going to trade Yusuf Nurkic to the Sacramento Kings for Bogdan Bogdanovich in a 2022 20, first round pick, I believe. We're going to trade Damari Carroll to the Detroit Pistons for Langston Galloway, a former Nick, and a second round pick. Something for Carroll. We're going to trade Marcus Morris to the Clippers, something the Knicks did in the 2019 season, for Mike Scott and their 2022 top three protected first. I'm going to be sending Tim Hardaway Jr. and Noah Vonley to the Utah Jazz for Derek Favors, who's not bad, 28 years old, an expiring contract, and I get the Jazz's 2026 water protected first. We're going to move Bogdan Bogdanovich, who we just picked up, and Gary Trent Jr., who hasn't really played for us this year, to Houston for their 2022 20, first round pick. We're going to have a lot of picks this year. And Brandon Knight, an expiring, not a bad player either. And the last trade we're going to make, we're going to flip Derek Favors, who we just picked up, and our second in 2028 for another 2022 first round pick from the Nuggets. And we're getting Mason Plumlee. I mean, the 2022 draft did include Paolo Bancaro. I mean, not the best draft in the world, but we are going to have a ton of picks in that class. So yeah, this team is absolutely garbage. I mean, it's no different than the Knicks rosters we saw at some points in 2015, 16, and 17. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. We're still tanking for Lamelo and Ann. So Vuka Doncic in his second year in the NBA wins MVP, which is just wild. Zion takes home rookie of the year. Ben Simmons, sixth man of the year. Kawhi Leonard gets deep point. Time Lord most improved. And Brett Brown of the Sixers coach of the year. Yeah, so this Knicks team, ah, man, it really sucks that I to tank this year. Whoa, Jimmy Butler signed with the Phoenix Suns. That's pretty cool. I should have just drafted RJ. I don't know. It wasn't great in Detroit. I don't even want to know like the stats of this team. Who was the leading scorer by the end of the year? <laughs> Watanabe, we had at some point. Uh, Brandon Knight, there's Neil Aquino, Hart, Knox. Oh my god, this team is so bad. Did we end up with the worst record in the NBA? We went 24 and 58. The Wizards with Wall, Beal, and Porter were somehow worse. How? That is embarrassing. Okay, just rub it in my face more, 2K. Kristaps Sporzingis, Western Conference Finals MVP. Whatever, and Devin Booker on the Sixers Eastern, and the Sixers ended up sweeping. Oh my god, yeah. So they have Embiid, Simmons, Booker, Brogdon, Fultz, Sarge, Covington, Shamit. That's absurd. Vince Carter, Dirk, Jamal Crawford, Zach Randolph all retire. Dirk heads to the Hall of Fame. And yeah, we have the second best odds of getting the number one pick. Don't screw us, 2K. All right, I give up. This game hates us. We ended up falling to pick six. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Just absurd how much 2K hates me. I'm sorry, Adoka, Nash, and Will Hardy that you guys came here. I mean, we're gonna have a ton of cap space for New York, even though they never signed anybody. We have nobody under contract. Nobody wants to re-sign with us. We're gonna lose out on Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halbert, and Lamelo Ball. Cole Anthony goes four, Wiseman five. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go Tyrese Maxey six. We could take Desmond Bain as well. Just not the same. So I'm going to go with Maxi here. Uh, yeah, I guess it could be worse. We could have drafted Killian Hayes, but I really wanted Anthony Edwards or Lamelo Ball. That is just a shame. So let's sign Tyrese Maxi. We're going to bring back Josh Hart, Knox, Neil Aquina, Mitchell Robinson, Lynn and Burks. Mm, no, I'm actually going to decline both those deals. Anthony Davis is a free agent. Maybe we'll try to sign him. I mean, I might as well. We have so much money. So I'm going to give AD a contract. I'm going to give Jalen Brown a contract. I don't really want Gordon Hayward or Kyle Lowry. Brandon Ingram is a free agent. So is Ben Simmons. There's Andre Drummond, but $42 million a year. Draymond, Whiteside, Murray, Gallo, Marcus Saul. Some bonuses here. Buddy Heald wants $30 million. All right, let's see. Do I get lucky and get AD or Jalen Brown? What am I kidding? Brown goes to the Cavs and AD to the Nuggets. They're not even re-signing and we still can't get these guys. I'm like, oh, I'll go after Fred Van Vliet. Nobody's offered him a deal. He wants $24 million. Like, get out of here. All right, I'm going to offer Chris 
done a two-year deal. I'm going to front load it though. I'm going to also try to bring Eric Gordon in on a three-year deal. Torian Prince on a two-year deal. Pascal Siakam never really broke out. So I might just take a flyer on him. We get done in Prince. Eric Gordon goes to Portland. So one team has given Siakam a deal two years, 20 million. I will give you a little bit more, but I'm going to do a team option. I think he still will accept it. Let's go. I'm going to bring in Montrez Harrell on a two-year deal with a team option. And we're basically just doing what we did last year at this moment because we can't land a big fish. Nobody wants us down with the Knicks and I don't blame them. You know what? Let's give Marcus Saul a two-year deal team option as well. Screw it. We actually maybe like try to be competitive because we're not even getting any luck in the lottery. So why should I even try tanking? Now let's take a flyer on Tyus Jones as well. And that's going to wrap out the offseason for us. A really weird one. So we do have a ton of point guards at the moment. I even like still think I might start Tyrese Maxey. We'll see. So we got Chris Dunn, Josh Hart, Torian Prince, Kevin Knox, Marcus Saul, Whole lot of mid, man. This team is not great at the moment. I don't even think I'm going to play Frank Nielakeen, unfortunately. I think I may just give 24 minutes a night to Maxi. First game of the season against the Bulls, we end up losing 139-134. I'm very curious to see who's going to be our leading scorer this year. This rebuild has been very difficult, but you know what? That's kind of a nice change of pace, these being tough. All right, so another Knicks season where I think I'm going to have to get more creative in the trade market and stop trading for picks and get more young players. We're 19-35, and 35, but I have a plethora of veterans I could sell. All right, I wanted Terry Rozier in the offseason. I'm going to get him now for Marcus Saul. I also get a second out of it also. Tyus Jones has actually been much better than Chris Dunn this season. And Torian Prince has been solid too. All right, I'm going to try to do a big trade here with the Pacers. Could we maybe do Chris Dunn for Miles Turner? They want my first round pick out of it, which I am just not giving them at all. I don't know if I could just throw another like cheap player in it. Like I don't really want to trade Mitchell Robinson because I like him as a backup center long term. Don't want to trade Josh Hart. I would move Neil Aquina in this deal if that meant I get to get Miles Turner. Frank has been better this year, though. All right, what about in 2026? We give up, like, this Clippers first. They say, no, I'm not giving you my first this year. I will give you my second this year and two other seconds as well. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, I did have to throw in Kevin Knox. I'll give up a second. I get Doug McDermott and Miles Turner. I mean, this is definitely going to hurt the tank a little bit. And I'm going to trade my second rounder, which will probably be 31 or something like that. Montrose Harrell and Doug McDermott for TJ Warren from the Suns and Rashawn Holmes, who I may flip in the offseason as well. So this team is definitely a little bit better. I'm excited to see how it kind of performs throughout the remainder of the season. So Russell Westbrook gets MVP, averaging a triple-double. Lamelo Ball, Rookie of the Year with the Timberwolves. Ben Simmons, sixth man of the year in Philly. Kawhi gets Depoy. Jared Allen, most improved in Brooklyn. Tyrese Maxey on all NBA, or excuse me, not all NBA, all rookie first team. We didn't make the play-in tournament or anything, but we did have a strong end to the regular season. We went 35 and 47. I don't even, yeah, like this is a completely new day for me, but I think I've set up this team to somewhat succeed next year. I like what Tyus Jones did for us in his first year. I think he could be a good backup point guard, even a starter if it came to it. Miles Turner is looking like to be the starting center. TJ Warren could be a really good sixth man. Then we got Torian Prince, who I'm able to move on draft night. We have Josh Hart, who should be restricted free agent. Neil Aquina, restricted free agent as well. May look to trade him. And then we have Terry Rozier, Mitch Rob, Siakam, Maxi. The finals are between the Nuggets and the Celtics. And the Celtics end up sweeping with Jason Tatum being your finals MVP. All right, so draft lottery time. We are projected the ninth overall pick. Every time I watch it, we drop two spots. So let's simulate it. And we jump up to three. Well, would you look at that? Okay, so we have the third overall pick here in the 2021 NBA draft. All right, I'm guaranteed a Mobley, a Cunningham, a Jalen Green. We also have the 27th pick via the Lakers. Look at what we have here. I'm going to be trading Rashawn Holmes and Torian Prince for Jalen Brunson, who was drafted by the Dallas Mavericks, still with them, um, and their watery protected first round pick next season. So next year, we have, oh my God, three six, seven first rounders. We have the third overall pick in this draft. It looks like Mobley may go one. So let's see who's available for us at three. I assume it's going to be Mobley one, Cade two. Mobley goes to Detroit and Cade Cunningham to the Pelicans. So you know what? With the third overall pick, I'm going to snag Scotty Barnes. He's going to be in the front court with Miles Turner possibly next year. And then at pick 27, I'm going to snag Austin Reeves. So we're going to sign both those guys. Maybe should I have taken somebody else? I mean, Giddy's at 73. Jalen Green could have been the pick here for sure. Picking up the team option on Mitchell Robinson's contract. Siakam and Tyus Jones I will pick up, but I'm probably going to move Siakam. Maybe this is the free agency class that we can end up signing a big name. So Josh Hart, I would like to bring back... 
Neil Keen, I don't really want to bring back. So yeah, there's a ton of talent here in free agency. All right, so I'm going to trade Pascal Siakam in a second to Milwaukee for two potential first round picks. And then I'm going to trade Terry Rozier to the Spurs for Vonnie Walker and save $14 million in the process. So I'm going to offer Giannis and LeBron both max contracts. And I also offered Paul George a deal as well. Do we get one of them? All right, we finally land a bigger free agent in this video and it is Paul George. I did front load the contract and you know what? We're going to bring him in. LeBron goes back to the Lakers. Giannis goes to the Thunder. Okay, get him out of the Eastern Conference. And yeah, I don't get Paul George too often. He's 31, so I don't know if he's going to regress just yet. Had a very good year with OKC um, in the last season. I'm going to give Frank Nielakina. Ooh, I actually have like $18 million left. Maybe I'm not going to sign Frank. You know what? We will. We're probably going to sign Josh Hart and Frank Nielakina, and then probably look to move Frank since I have Jalen Brunson and Tyus Jones. So yeah, we get both of them back. And I also have Tyrese Maxey. keep forgetting that. And I'm going to ship Frank Nielokino off to Toronto to get a 2020, I think, three first round pick. And I'm getting Norman Powell, who probably will ride the bench. And there's the Paul George regression. But we do have Jalen Brunson, Miles Turner, Paul George. That's an interesting big three. All right, so it's going to be Brunson, Hart, George, Barnes, Turner. We'll have Warren, Mitchell Robinson, Lonnie Walker, uh, Tyus Jones, and Tyrese Maxey off the bench. Oh, but it is cool to have Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart here in New York. We're four-star balanced under Ime Odoka. Maybe this team will do solid this year, even though we're off to an Owen four-star. Great. And then Jalen Brunson breaks his right leg. He's out eight to 10 weeks. All right, 2K. Thanks a lot for that. And then Scotty Barnes. Left knee tendonitis, he's out four to six weeks. Mitchell Robinson, right knee tendonitis. What's going on with this tendonitis stuff? He's out four to six weeks. Oh my God. Everybody's getting knee tendonitis. Paul George this time around. And we're 11 and 21. All right, so Jason Tatum was a captain this year. We didn't get Paul George on an all-star team, unfortunately. You do see Gordon Hayward there, Zion. Donovan Mitchell, who signed with Detroit. Is Tatum? He's still in Boston. No, Detroit signed Tatum and Donovan Mitchell. We're eight games under 500. And Paul George is averaging 15 points a night. Well, I may be trading him at this year's trade deadline. I This has been the furthest thing from a realistic rebuild. I mean, I didn't plan on this to be. And I know we have just a ton of draft capital going into this year's draft, but this is just abysmal what's going on. I never thought I'd do this, but I'm going to be trading Paul George for Andre Drummond. I don't know if I'd be able to steal a first round pick from them. Let's see if we possibly could. No, we definitely can't. Okay, so yeah, Andre Drummond is kind of a beast in these rebuilds. He's 28 years old. Watch them not want to do that. All right, we'll swap seconds. And then that means Miles Turner, who's very unhappy. I'm going to be trading him. And I'm going to be trading Miles Turner and Norman Powell for Joe Wiskamp, but more importantly, DeMar DeRozan from the Charlotte Hornets. So we currently have Brunson, Hart, DeRozan, Barnes, Drummond with Warren, Walker, Robinson, Maxi off the bench. Tyus Jones is currently hurt at the moment. So I don't know if this team is going to make the playoffs. Maybe we make the play-in tournament. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of, I don't even know what season this is, five, four. All right, we're currently on a five game winning streak. Make that six ends there. But yeah, this team is gonna have, I think the best record of the video at 39 and 43. I think things are going to get crazy this offseason with all the draft picks that we are about to have. Now, I wish it was a better draft class, like if it was 2017, 18, maybe 2021. 20, but you know what? The 2022 class still has some studs in it. Shea, still on the Clippers being a stud. We did get Scotty Barnes on all rookie first team. Not a bad rookie year whatsoever. We're actually in the playing tournament as the eight seed. So we technically made the playoffs this year. Well, not fully yet. We're currently going to be doing it without Mitchell Robinson and Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones got hurt again with a broken left hand. So we might not have a backup center for the playoffs, unfortunately. Austin Reeves is gonna get 10 minutes. Maxi can get 20. I'm gonna do 25 to Warren and Wadi Walker. Let's do 37 to DeRozan and Drummond. We could do 30 to Barnes. And then I want to give one more to... Um, we'll do like 27 to Barnes, actually. And I want to give more to Jalen Brunson. So can we beat the Orlando Magic? Yes, we can. And we end up as the seven seed. We beat them by 24 points, in which DeRozan had. But now we're going to take on Cleveland, who is a very good team. Uh, they have Sexton, Murray, Gordon, Love, and Thompson. You know, it's not the best team in the world. Let's see what happens here. Game one against Cleveland, we ended up losing by four. DeRozan had a triple-double. Can we pull off an upset 2K? I see these all the time, please. Come on, no. We ended up losing in seven games. We lost by 24. Damn, Warren had 27 too. That's unfortunate. So it's a Celtics Mavericks NBA Finals and the Mavericks blew a three to one lead. 
Jalen Brown is your finals MVP. After what happened to me in that Bulls rebuild, I really want to win a championship today. And let's see, are we going to get any good lottery picks at the moment? Not really. Damn. <laughs> uh, I mean, some were lottery protected, and that may even be the Kings and the Rockets picks. Uh, so that Kings pick, we are keeping at 9. Rockets at 14. We have our pick at 15. Jazz at 17. 23 via Denver. 27 Clippers. 28 Dallas. Ah. Not even a top five pick. This rebuild has been very mean to me. I can't lie. All right, so I'm going to be moving Austin Reeves 27 and 28 for two future first round picks. All right, so it's time to draft like 20 new rookies. And the Spurs traded the number one overall pick for Jamal Murray. So the Cavs are on the clock and they take Jake Blackman. What, 2K? I downloaded your historic 2021 class. And that's what you end up... What is going on? All right, maybe it's auto-generated. Never mind. I must have downloaded the wrong draft class. So I'm going to trade uh, my next two picks, 9 and 14, for Aaron Strong, who's picked um, at number four and a future Atlanta pick. And then I ended up taking Monty Patrick, Hassan Penby, Alex Farrell, and Anton Blaus, though, with my next four picks. They're all basically trade assets for me. All right, so we could look to bring back DeMar DeRozan if we wanted to. Jalen Brunson's a free agent, and I still can't even afford Kevin Durant, really. And we are going to sign Shea Gilgis Alexander, so we are going to have to let some of our guys walk, like Jalen Brunson, TJ Warren, and Tyus Jones. I tried signing Luka. He goes to Philly. I thought 2K was going to allow me to still sign Jalen Brunson. I guess not. I can still bring back Lonnie Walker though which is kind of nice so let's give him a decent amount of money and then let's also give Mitchell Robinson a decent amount of money all right I'm going to be trading um Penby uh Belouse and then Lonnie Walker in a second for Jakob Pertl and Otto Porter let's get that deal done Gary Harris is an 87 overall but I'm going to make a pretty big trade I'm moving Drummond Alex Farrell and a Milwaukee first rounder next year for KCP and Andrew Wiggins I just had so many centers as it is I don't know this team is really deep though and we get a ton of injuries but I might turn on it uh, or injuries off this season because they've been kind of pissing me off as of late. All right, so let's see what this rotation is going to look like. SGA, Josh Hart, Andrew Wiggins, Scotty Barnes, Mitchell Robinson, Otto Porter, Aaron Strong. Um, we'll have Jakob Pertl and probably KCP off the bench. Maxi will be the first guy in if somebody gets hurt. We're going to go 30 to the front court. I'd like to go 35 to the Canadians, Andrew Wiggins, and Shea Gilchrist Alexander. We can do 30 to Josh Hart, and I can give like two more minutes to Jakob Pertl. So I don't know why I said Maxi would be in in case somebody gets hurt because I did turn injuries off. Let's just see how this team does at the deadline, and then maybe I'll make some moves. All right, so we're here at the All-Star Draft. Do we get any All-Stars? Finally, we do. And Shea Gilchrist Alexander, who's been the best player for us in this video. Somehow it wasn't Paul George, but it's been Shea. Thankfully, he does make the all-star game for us. I saw Gordon Hayward there. I could have traded for him instead of Andrew Wiggins, but I'm like, how is Gordon Hayward this freaking good? Josh Hart has been good for us though. Mitchell Robinson, whoa, 15 and eight for the Loch Ness Monster, the Loch Ness Monster, I should say. Do I think that this team could win a championship this year though? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna make a big trade. I'm gonna move Scotty Barnes KCP in a second for Io Sunmu and Jaron Jackson Jr. Scotty Barnes has been good, but Jaron Jackson Jr., is a lot better right now, and I think that this team could win a championship this season. So that means we're going to be able to get Tyrese Maxey into the nine-man rotation. And Mitchell Robinson and Jaron Jackson Jr. in the front court is going to get a lot of blocks. And Jason Tatum wins MVP this season for the Pistons. We don't get Coach of the Year, unfortunately. Shout out to Dante DiVincenzo winning most improved. We do get Shea Gilgis on All-NBA second team, and Jaron Jackson Jr. on All-Defensive second team with well-known all-class defenders James Harden and Luka Doncic. We ended up as the two-seed in the Eastern Conference. We're going to be going up against the Indiana Pacers with Luka. It's a bonus in round one. That's a good team. So here were the end of the season stats. Shea leading us in scoring. Then Jaron Jackson Jr., Wiggins, Mitchell Robinson, Josh Hart. So everybody in the starting five scored 10 plus. And please tell me that we could beat the Indiana Pacers and move on to round two. And we sweep them. Let's freaking go. We know that the Cavs traded away Jamal Murray on draft night. And Shea Gojus Alexander is a beast. Uh, for Jake Blackman. Still have Kevin Love. They beat us last year in seven. Can we maybe get revenge on them this year? Yes, we can. We are 8-0 and in the first two rounds, and we are on a crash collision with the Detroit Pistons, who have Reggie Jackson, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Evan Mobley. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mobley, Allen, and Barrett. Allen, they got, or, okay, so he was already in this save. They got Mobley at number one, and they got Barrett at 10. And then you have to add in Jason Tatum, who's a 99, and Mitchell, who's a 92. I don't know if we're going to beat them. We do win game one, though, by 31. 
Wait, it's a J. I mean, Wiggins did beat Tatum in the finals before. They do win game two, though. Game three goes to the New York Knicks. Let's go. We win by one point in overtime. That is massive. Oh, man. We lose by nine in game four. I am nervous. Don't lose game five. Yes. Let's freaking go. We win by two touchdowns. We win by 14. Come on. Go to the finals. No. Oh, I'm so nervous. Here we go. Game seven. We've been going back and forth with them. If the trend continues, we should win this game. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I am so scared. We are currently up by six. We've been in control the whole game, 2K. Let's freaking go. Let's go! Shea Gilgis Alexander is a goddamn superstar, and the Knicks are going up against the Lakers. Oh man, I am Jack. Just because we had no success in this video, we're going up against Randall, LeBron, and Clay. Please, 2K. Two biggest markets right here. New York versus LA. I'm not stressing myself out anymore. I am closing my eyes. I'm going to simulate the round. And just tell me that the New York Knicks have won whatever championship this would technically be. I believe this would be the 2023 chip. Please tell me that we won it all. Don't tell me I made it to the NBA Finals just to lose. And we won it. Let's go. Let's go. We won in five. Shea, man. I should have got him instead of Paul George from the start. So I hope you guys did enjoy this historic Knicks rebuild. This was a challenge. I definitely did not do a great job in this rebuild, but we still got a championship at the end of the day. And it was nice to win after what happened in that Bulls rebuild. So if you guys did enjoy, I love you guys, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.